Yeah, I, I guess I, when I come across a new term, when it comes to worldviews, I'm always as curious as to what, what that kind of looks like. And um, But on Hinduism and Buddhism, you know, particularly from this trip that I was recently on, I, I find that fascinating. I find all worldviews fascinating. I study all of them from atheist to agnostic to Christian, Hindu, uh, Buddhist, Jewish... Islam. I was just in Istanbul in uh, October, um, and I just, I just like to see what worldviews work for people and what it is about them that that uh, help. So that's that's and and also one one thing we're 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 here to talk about trauma. Chapter eleven of my book, Post Traumatic Thriving, uh, is dedicated to kind of people's spiritual journeys, whatever they look like, because the science, the academia, actually is pretty clear. But those who have some kind of spiritual connection tend statistically to do better than those who don't. Um, that's not to say you can't. I've known plenty of atheists and agnostics that have a, an important cause. They contribute to humanity. So I'm not, I hope I don't come across being judgmental saying that. But, but in terms of having some kind of cause or spirituality, that does reconcile nicely with the topic we're dealing with with, with trauma.